Uh, um, so now, you, so you're doing your psychology and, and all the love relationship stuff in Aussie still? Yep. Yeah, yeah, look, it's been great. I've been able to get on to the morning shows over there. Uh, and uh, I managed also, actually last year, I was just saying to Don before, that uh, I, I was able to shoot a pilot in the States uh, for Discovery Channel, which I'm waiting to hear back on. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I might be able to get over there uh, uh, middle of this year. Discovery Channel? Yeah, yeah, they, they, they found me off YouTube and, and flew me across to, uh, to host a, a show. Like a, a love as, show or something? Well, it was, uh, it was as a psychologist and I was, um, I can't go into all the details mm -hmm. about it, but basically they needed someone to uh, yeah, b take the, the viewers on a journey and I was that guy. Wow. Well, it's like man versus wild, except it wasn't in the wild. <laughs> that's, that's right, that's right. And he didn't have to drink his own urine. That's, uh, thankfully, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but, it, but look, it was great, and one of the things is, you know, when, when you do make changes, like going, going over to Australia, there are, uh, there are a lot of opportunities that, you know, have come up, which I'm really grateful for. Now, we got you in here this morning because you got this great new book out. Accidentally single. And on the cover, it's got a nice picture of a love heart, except um, it's not fully red. It's like a maze, and there's a person stuck in the middle, and they can't find their way out. Yeah, that's right. And that's yeah. what the book's all about. Basically, I'd seen a lot of clients. Uh, they were frustrated. They couldn't find the right person. But what actually was happening was that they were making 15 key mistakes unknowingly that held them back. And so I thought, time to write a book. And the other thing about it was that I thought I'd throw my own horror dating stories in there as well, because... <laughs> It doesn't matter if you're a psychologist or a radio host or a florist, you can do these mistakes when you're single and you don't know you're doing it. Right. So what you're saying is, like when we have the friend who you think, why is she still single? Why are you still single? You're such a great girl. You know, you go out, you try and meet people when you're still single. That's because she must be making one of these or more of these mistakes. That's exactly right. Ah. So they're frustrated. They don't know why they are the way they are. But in fact, they're putting up barriers without knowing it. Now, there, there's someone that we wanted you to take a look at. This is um, Aussie Will. Will, John, John, Aussie. Um, <laughs> Aussie Will works in the afternoon with um, Fletch and Vaughan. How, how old are you, Aussie? Tw 28. 28. Now, look at him. He's, he's, he's a fit guy. Yeah, a, look a, at me. Apart yes. from, apart from the, the balding on the top. <laughs> He's practically like a, a perfect guy. He's fit, he's healthy, he's got a yeah, good job. Yeah, it's a good package. He's a normal guy. Yeah, hello. What is the problem? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, damn right I am. Yeah, and how long has it been since you had a serious relationship with Five years. See, that's a long Five time. Five years? Yeah, it's a long time. He's See, he's not lying. He's out parties every year. <laughs> And he's, 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 like, he's confident with girls, so he asks them yeah. out, and he goes out on a date or two, and then it just sort of yeah. fizzles. Definitely. Well, what is it? Is it too picky? Probably. There's a whole bunch of reasons Come why. On, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all 15. <laughs> oh, because I look at the list. <laughs> okay, uh, you're attracted to unavailable types, definitely. Yeah, they're, um, the, they're the ones that, uh, you know, they're, they're hot, you want them, but they're, yeah. they're never going to go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Keep your eyes off Dan Carter, mate. He's happy with on the dough. You don't have a shot. Off, Tom. Um, too clingy. I don't know if I'm too clingy. I would be, I'd say I'd be a argument. Too clingy is a very easy way to turn off a potential love interest by texting too much, chasing too hard. Oh, okay, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> would you say too, 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 too clingy is, is mainly um, something from the female point of view, John? No, look, men, look, and, and even I, I've done that, and I put a horror story mm. in there. Uh, I met a girl over in Manchester. I was on the OE there. thought she was the one. Suddenly I was thinking, I'm going to live here, settle down in England. This is going to be great. Started texting, ringing, and, of course, after three weeks, hadn't heard back from her. Penny dropped. Come on, John. You got to you got to slow things down. Yeah, being too clingy. Space, dude. Yeah, Call it, exactly. Tiger. Call it. But we've all been there. Right. Please right. say we've all been yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, definitely. I'm I found I found one. Hang yeah. On, I'm keeping score here. Did you say yes? You're yes. clingy. Okay. So you're yes to you're only attracted to unavailable types, <laughs> and you're too clingy. <laughs> hey. Okay. Hang on, okay. Like and you've been running quite a bit. Do you put fitness before love? I try to use fitness to pick up love. I go to the gym just to see what I can get. But nah, I do do a lot of sport. Like, I did the marathon and that took up so much time because then you're running all morning and then at night you're just napping. Look, just looking at you, you probably don't have any problems with uh, well-being or appearance because you're in Hello. great shape. Good. Um, <laughs> and, and, you know, so, but for oh. some people out there, they really struggle with that, you know. They put on weight or go really underweight. Uh, or they drink too much, go out late, lack of sleep, all that sort of stuff. If you're doing those things, you're going to stay single. Okay, well, I don't do that stuff. Sweet. What about uh, that chapter on you're only into casual sex? The clearing of your throat just needs <laughs> said volumes, mate. Uh, oh. Look, it's if I can get the sex is the other part, but uh, whatever. Um, right, well, I think we'll take a break for a second and come back in a minute. 0800, if you want to call. 
Are you single and you really, really, really need to know what you're doing wrong? You can ask John a question if you like, but Absolutely. I think we should quickly run through your 15 um, reasons why yeah. you might be single and then give info where you can get the book. It is a really easy read, and it's actually quite funny. I was thinking if I was single, I would be so screwed. <laughs>